And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Ian Page. As the Buffalo area tries to recover from that historic snowstorm, some people from the Hudson Valley are mourning loved ones who died, and others are stepping in to help. And our Ben Nandy joins us tonight with more on the effect the storm is having on the Hudson Valley. Ben. We're here at the Scarsdale Volunteer Ambulance Corps. They have a crew in Buffalo right now helping with this massive backlog of 911 calls. In the story, we're also hearing from a mother who has strong ties here in Westchester County. She's trying to rebound after the loss of her daughter during this storm. I just feel weak, tired. Wanda Brown Steele hopes additional EMS crews help people avoid what happened to her daughter, 22 year old Andell Taylor. Taylor, a nurse's assistant who was born in New Rochelle, was driving home from work when she got stuck in snow. She died, possibly of carbon monoxide poisoning, while waiting to be rescued. This is the final video her family received before they learned she died. I feel that they should have been prepared for this storm. They knew the storm was coming. They already have big snow, so they should have been prepared for at least that. Erie County EMS officials requested help from other EMS agencies around the state to help handle the 911 calls. They really do mean it. Scarsdale paramedics Caitlin Cockler and Kyle Shryock arrived in Buffalo Tuesday. They've been pulling 12-hour shifts, handling about one call per hour. Most are calls from earlier this week that didn't get immediate responses. It's, it's a very unfortunate situation, and I guess they got to a point in Buffalo where people just had to wait for 911 calls because it wasn't safe for the crews to go out. And we're going a couple days late from when the original 911 call was uh, sent in, so we're just checking to make sure people don't need to follow up. Those paramedics have two more 12 hour tours to do, then they'll be coming home this weekend. As for Wanda Brown Steele, the mother who you've heard from in that story, she is planning a memorial service for her daughter in Buffalo. Currently, she lives in North Carolina. So right now she is stuck waiting for flight service to Buffalo to resume so she can give a proper tribute to her daughter. Ben Nandy, News 12.